Today, we're diving deep into the dark and twisted tale of one of the most infamous villains in the wizarding world, Lord Voldemort. From his humble and tragic beginnings to his rise as the Dark Lord, we're going to explore every significant event that shaped Tom Riddle into the terror we all know. So grab your wands and settle in as we unravel the story of Voldemort's origins. Early Life of Tom Riddle Tom Marvolo Riddle was born on December 31, 1926, in Wool's Orphanage in London. His mother, Merrick Gaunt, was a witch from a pure blood family that descended from Salazar Slytherin himself. However, Merrip's life was anything but magical. She lived under the tyranny of her father, Marvolo Gaunt, and her brother, Morfin Gaunt, who were both obsessed with their pure blood heritage, but lacked the basic decency to treat Merrip with any respect. In a desperate attempt to escape her miserable life, Merrip used a love potion to enchant a wealthy muggle named Tom Riddle Sr. The couple eloped, and Merrip soon became pregnant. Believing that Tom Riddle Sr. would love her without the potion's influence, Merrip stopped giving it to him, but he abandoned her immediately. Heartbroken and alone, Merrip gave birth to Tom Riddle Jr. and died shortly after, leaving him to grow up in the orphanage, discovering his magical heritage. From an early age, Tom Riddle displayed signs of magical ability. He could move objects with his mind, communicate with snakes, and make bad things happen to those who crossed him. Despite these abilities, he grew up isolated and misunderstood, fueling his disdain for his muggle caretakers and peers. In 1938, Albus Dumbledore visited the orphanage to inform the young Tom Riddle of his acceptance into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and wizardry. This meeting was pivotal, as Dumbledore immediately sensed the darkness within Tom. At Hogwarts, Tom was sorted into Slytherin House, where he quickly excelled in his studies and charmed both students and teachers with his intelligence and charisma. The Quest for Immortality Tom Riddle's time at Hogwarts was marked by his obsession with his heritage and his pursuit of power. He learned about his connection to Salazar Slytherin, and discovered the existence of the Chamber of Secrets. In his fifth year, he managed to open the chamber and unleash the Basilisk, resulting in the death of a student named Myrtle Warren, later known as Moaning Myrtle. Despite his actions, Tom framed Rubius Hagrid, ensuring his own safety while Hagrid was expelled. Riddle's fascination with immortality led him to the dark art of creating Horcruxes, which involved splitting one's soul and hiding parts of it in objects. This act required the murder of another person, an act that did not trouble the increasingly ruthless Riddle. Over time, he created a total of seven Horcruxes, believing this would make him invincible. Each Horcrux further dehumanized him, both physically and mentally, as he embraced his new identity, Lord Voldemort. The Rise of Voldemort On graduating from Hogwarts, Tom Riddle sought to solidify his power and influence. He applied for the position of defense against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts, but his request was denied by Dumbledore, who remained wary of his intentions. Rejected and embittered, Riddle vanished from the public eye, traveling extensively and delving deeper into the Dark Arts. When he resurfaced, he had transformed into Lord Voldemort, a figure shrouded in fear and mystery. Gathering a loyal following of dark witches and wizards known as Death Eaters, Voldemort began his campaign to overthrow the Ministry of Magic and establish a new world order based on pure blood supremacy. His reign of terror was marked by fear, violence, and the ruthless extermination of those who opposed him. The First Wizarding War The First Wizarding War saw Voldemort's power grow as he and his Death Eaters committed atrocities across the wizarding world. The Ministry of Magic struggled to contain his influence, and many lives were lost. However, Voldemort's ambitions were thwarted by a prophecy made by Sybil Trelawney, which foretold the birth of a child with the power to defeat him. Voldemort believed this child to be Harry Potter, the son of James and Lily Potter. In a bid to eliminate this threat, Voldemort attacked the Potters on Halloween night in 1981. He killed James and Lily, but was unable to kill Harry as Lily's sacrificial love protected her son, 
causing the killing curse to rebound and destroy Voldemort's physical form. The Second Wizarding War Voldemort's defeat in 1981 did not mark the end of his dark influence. For over a decade, he lingered in a weakened, bodiless state, unable to fully return. His loyal Death Eaters remained scattered, and the Wizarding world experienced a brief period of peace. However, Voldemort's loyal follower, Peter Pettigrew, also known as Wormtail, sought him out in 1994 and helped restore him to a rudimentary form using a dark potion. Voldemort's return was complete in 1995, when he used Harry Potter's blood in a dark ritual to regain a physical body, circumventing the protection Lily Potter's sacrifice had bestowed upon her son. With his return, Voldemort reignited the Second Wizarding War, characterized by a campaign of fear, manipulation, and death. The Ministry of Magic fell under his control, and the Wizarding World was plunged into chaos once more. Voldemort's obsession with defeating Harry Potter grew, leading to the final confrontation at the Battle of Hogwarts. The Final Battle The Battle of Hogwarts, fought in May 1998, was the climax of Voldemort's dark reign. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry became the battleground for the final showdown between the forces of good and evil. Voldemort and his Death Eaters faced off against the Order of the Phoenix, students, and other defenders of the Wizarding World. In a series of intense confrontations, many brave witches and wizards lost their lives. However, it was Harry Potter who ultimately confronted Voldemort. Armed with the knowledge of his Horcruxes, Harry and his friends destroyed each one, weakening Voldemort significantly. In their final duel, Voldemort's own killing curse rebounded upon him once more, ending his life and bringing an end to his reign of terror. Legacy of Voldemort Even after his death, Voldemort's legacy continued to haunt the wizarding world. His ideology of pure blood supremacy left deep scars, and many of his followers went into hiding or faced justice for their crimes. The wizarding world began the slow process of rebuilding, striving to heal from the wounds inflicted by Voldemort's tyranny. Voldemort's story serves as a grim reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the corrupting influence of power. His rise and fall highlight the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of love and sacrifice. While his name continues to evoke fear, it also stands as a testament to the triumph of good over evil. And there you have it, the dark and twisted tale of Tom Riddle's transformation into Lord Voldemort. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more magical content, and let us know in the comments which Harry Potter character you'd like us to explore next. Until next time, keep the magic alive.